Friends, before starting the story, subscribe our channel and press the bell icon because we come every time with a new interesting story. Thank you. But brother, you know Eric very well. He cannot do this at all. That's enough, Sophia, you will no longer stay at home but in the girls' hostel. I made a big mistake by trusting you Sophia. You don't deserve this. I gave you so much freedom and you misused it. Now go and pack your stuff. I will drop you to the hostel early tomorrow morning. But brother, how can you speak like this without thinking? Sister-in-law is doing all this deliberately. Shut up and go to your room. The next day David got Sophia admitted in the hostel and did not talk to Sophia even once. Now Sophia had become very sad because after the death of her parents, her brother was everything for her. But now her sister-in-law had separated Sophia from her brother by pretending. I didn't do anything like that. Hey, I didn't even enter your main door. Then how can your sister-in-law speak like this? I know Eric's sister-in-law made all these plans to throw me out of the house. But why Sophia, what problem did she have with you staying at house? Don't know Eric, why is sister-in-law doing like this? But I am most worried about my brother. Brother is not feeling well these days. Don't know whether he will go to meet the doctor again now or not. Don't worry, Sophia, my mind tells me everything will be fine. I am with you. <laughs> then, what was to happen? David threw Sophia out of the house early in the morning. Now she lives in a hostel. Thank God, now no one will come among us. Now we can meet every day without any worries. After having dinner at the restaurant, Nick dropped Pamela at home. And as soon as Pamela came inside. Where did you go, Pamela? Hey David, you came early from office today. I was not feeling well, so I came. You tell me, where did you go, that two dressed up so much? Actually, I had gone to meet a friend. Friend? Hey Nick, the one who met that day in the mall. He is looking for a girl to marry. I was called out to show some photos and biodata, so I just... Oh, okay, no problem. By the way, how is your health? David. I am not feeling well at all. There is headache throughout the day. And fever comes in the evening. Okay, so you get enough sleep at night, right? At night I feel as if I faint as soon as I go to bed. Okay, you are sleeping well. Then your health will get better soon. Don't take tension and don't go to the doctor, because he giving unnecessary medicines will make your health worse. You sit, I am going to freshen up, then I will make tea for you. I don't know how Sophia will be in the hostel. After my parents passed away, I was raising Sophia as my daughter not my sister. Doctor, I don't know why brother is not coming to get his health checkup after that day. But that day you asked to do his blood test. Do you have the report of that blood test yet? Yes I have that report, I don't see any problem in his blood but I feel strange about one thing. What is it, doctor? Why does your brother take sleeping pills regularly? 
Traces of sleeping pills were found in large quantities in his blood. Did he ever have trouble sleeping? No, I have never seen my brother taking any medicine since childhood. And then this sleeping pill. I think you should talk to him. Sophia took the report from the doctor and left from there. So what do you want to say, Sophia? I don't know whether what I'm about to do is right or wrong. But I need your support, Eric. Otherwise, I won't be able to expose the truth. Keeping in mind the blood report and some previous incidents, Sophia started her work. While Pamela continued her love affair without any worries. Hello, Sophia. Just now your sister-in-law went in the car with some boy. And that boy is well known to her because firstly, he came from your house and also seems to be very close with her. Hmm. Okay. While Nick and Pamela were having fun, David reached home after finishing work early and thought that he would go out somewhere with Pamela. Today, I will take Pamela a lot of shopping, then take her to her favorite restaurant. It's been a long time since I took her out for a walk. David didn't find Pamela at home and started waiting for her. But hours passed, Pamela did not come home. Maybe she might have gone to her mother, I will talk to her. Son-in-law, why don't you and Pamela ever come here? Pamela also did not come to meet me for two months. Oh, she hasn't gone for two months. We will come mother, we will definitely come. How is your health? By the grace of God everything is fine son. May you both also be happy. Looks like Pamela has arrived. Sophia you, come, come in. Brother, I was missing you and sister-in-law for a long time, it has been three months that I did not come home. That's why. Good thing you came. I too felt like seeing you Sophia. Uff, this headache. Brother. Is your health still not better? Hey, I'm fine Sophia, don't worry. Okay tell me how are your studies going? For more updates, subscribe our channel and press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.